Hey guys, Blazy here, and well, Tom and Jerry is getting a live action movie. So this isn't exactly a full live action remake with a cat and a mouse, but much more so in the bane of Space Jam, Bluetooth back in action, Rocky and Ball Recall, and so on. So as everyone always asks, who asked for this? Well, I think Nostalgia asked for this, honestly. People like to see old cartoons and such making a comeback, but it's a matter of who asked for this version. Why did they go with this Woo and not just make a new cartoon series? Well, let's go through the trailer they released. Yeah, I'm doing this a little differently because I don't want Warner Brothers to copyright me. Again. <laughs> I love you guys, I do. I only do this because I love you. So we see them walking in the middle of a road and the narrator explains that the two world's most famous enemies are about to start over. Tom waits at a bus stop and then Jerry opens his arm for a hug and as Tom steps out to do so, gets hit by said bus. So, I want to talk about this scene because right away something just feels off. Like, the Looney Tunes movies use this like CGI 3D but still make it feel 2D hand drawn. Here they're still going for a cartoon look but in 3D. It very much looks a lot more like the Walking in Ball Recall kind of movie. They're not trying to replicate the hand drawn style of originals and that's fine and all but it just looks unfinished which yeah it most likely is but I feel like if they're going to make them 3D they need to add some fur markings or something. I just don't feel like the characters are, compl are complete exactly. It looks like early test footage. Worse is when he gets hit by the bus for some reason he's see through. And things are off like whether the W is, where the C is, the fact he's like see through but not the R in York. I, I know this is the first trailer, they're still working on the movie at all, it doesn't come off till next year, I, I think it was, but it just feels off. Now, sure, the Walking in Ball Week movie isn't like top tier quality animation, that's, that's for sure, but it worked back then, it was fine back then, but this is 2020, I just feel like they need to add a little bit of detail into them is all. I don't know what it is, maybe it's just also the colouring? There needs to be some shading or something happening? So we come to a hotel where Jerry has moved in and it's this big fancy place that has hosted kings even. They're about to host a wedding of the century. We also see a few more cartoon animals so it's not just Tom and Jerry then. It's a world of both cartoons and humans. That I actually do kind of like that they did because then they won't look out of place. Now it's just a matter how this world works around the cartoons as well. Will they even do anything about it or just stay the exact world we know? Anyway, next we see something I'm sad to see, only because I love her in movies. Chloe Grace Moez. Girl, what are you doing in this movie? This could be a career killer for you. And God, I hope not. In case you're wondering, she isn't kick-ass, but has done a bunch of other movies I like. Like, Let Me In, Carrie Remake, If I Stay, Greta, and more. It also has Michael Peña, who is funny in a lot of things, so maybe he'll be good here. My bad if I'm getting all these names wrong, they're all complicated names. <laughs> So Chloe is new here and I told her I have a mouse problem. Which really makes me wonder, how would they work when it comes to these like cartoon animals? Sure they don't talk, but they're clearly much more smart than your average mouse. No offense, they're very smart, just not has a business card smart. Oh wow, this is so detailed. So we come to the furry bait part of the trailer. We could hire an exterminator. Oh, we can live for you guys know what you are doing here. That said, damn he thick. So Chloe, I'm, I'm just calling her that at the moment. I don't know her character's name. I mean, I probably was in the trailer, but let's just call her Chloe. <laughs> Explains to her boss we could get an exterminator, or we could just use Tom here to get him. This didn't work in mouse art, so I doubt it'll work here. Hilarity ensures they won't away did Tom loses, of course. Next, we get a funny joke from Michael Peña. A picture of this mouse is tweeted out to Instabook face or Tiki Talk. We will be ruined. You get it? Because he, rich man, I don't understand the kids' apps, even though Facebook is used and every company uses it. So we see Chloe and Tom are teaming up to get Jerry. Get a good couple slapstick kind of scenes. And hey, Ken Jeong is here. Again, I'm sorry about the name, but I don't know. It's a, it's a difficult name. <laughs> then more slapstick, ending with, well, slapstick. Oh, that's By this final scene, we can see Tom has a lot more fur texture going on with it blowing in the wind and such, and yeah, it does honestly look much better. But yeah, so that's the trailer, and I guess my problem with seeing this is just, no one really cares about slapstick anymore. 
Sure, it can still be funny, but it needs to be done right at this time. Comedy has evolved over the last few years, and this constant slapstick throughout a movie just doesn't really work anymore. So, what I see in this trailer just doesn't amuse me, because we have already seen it all before. Yeah, sure, it's for the kids. Let's be real here, it's for little kids who have probably never really experienced that much slapstick before, and just like to see it in like Looney Tunes and that kind of stuff. But... Even like Looney Tunes today is much different than what it used to be. And let's face it, kids today are interested in Call of Duty. <laughs> kids today know violence, they play so much violent games these days, much more than they did back when, you know, Tom and Terry and Looney Tunes were a big thing. The animation, while not terrible, it just feels incomplete and way too bright, I guess? Like the coloring just needs like some kind of like fix to it. I like the actors in it, but I've got a feeling this film will make them terrible in it. You know, it'll be one of those movies where you're just like, I know you can do better. I want to just say, meh, whatever, some kids will enjoy it, I'm sure, but just something just doesn't feel right with this movie, and that's kind of sad, because I like the live-action cartoon movie thing, when it's done well. So, will this be done well in the end? Well, we can only wait and see. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And give this video a like and subscribe to my channel because I love you if you do. Hit that bell icon. And this fox says, be who you want to be. Alright, guys. Bye for now. So we come to a hotel where Jerry has moved in. And it's a big fancy place that has hosted kinks, even. That has hotted kinks, even. Great script writing, Blazy. Great job. We also see a few movie cartoons, so... We also see a few mo We also see a few more ca ca We also see a few more cartoon animals. So it's not just Chop, Chop, Jom, Jom, Jom and Terry. <laughs>